In this episode, I'm going to show you a neat little tool that's going to save you a lot of money and a lot of heartache in the long run. This is a valve spring tester, and this checks the condition of your valve springs to make sure your motor's not about to blow up. So let's show you how to use it. We're going to check the valve springs in the exact same order that we set the valve lash. In fact, we're going to use the same exact card. Now, if you didn't see that, that's in the valve lash video and even has this card in there for you so you can see which ones to set. Right now the motor is sitting at top dead center, which we also show you how to do. We've got the motor set in top dead center. We're going to check the exact same valve, so let's get ready to check some springs. All right, my little chart says that we need to set the number one intake side first, so I'm going to start with that one. My little tool slides over the push rod end first, and then sets down on top of the roller tip end. What you do is you take a hold of the handle, and you just pull. And you can see as I pull, the little pointer moves and it tells you how many pounds of pressure are on that. Now the way you tell is you come back down here and you pull until the top of the valve starts to move. And you can see it's wiggling right there. Now it's kind of hard for me to watch the numbers up top and the top of the valve. You can do it by yourself, but it's a lot easier if you got somebody to help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on it. And Brian's going to tell me when he sees this moving, we're going to stop and we're going to record it. So if we come back up here to the numbers, right now it's sitting on zero. I don't have any pressure. I'm just going to start to pull, pull. All right, it looks to be about 115 pounds. Now just to make sure that he didn't see it wrong and that I wasn't pulling too hard or something like that, I'm going to do each one of them at least twice. So we'll start over again, pull. It still looks like 115 pounds. So we will record 115 pounds for this cylinder. Then it says I need to do number one exhaust. So I'm going to come to number one exhaust. Works exactly the same way. Pull on it. All right. Looks about 115, 120. All right. Looks about 115. So both of these are 115 pounds seat pressure. So what I'm going to do is record each one of these and I'm going to work my way down exactly like I set my valve lash but instead of lash I'm checking the springs check all of them and we'll put them in the chart and I'll show you what we're looking for here are our valve spring numbers these are the pressures it came out with I don't know if that's really accurate or not I don't know if that springs really sitting at 120 pounds it may actually be 130 because my tool could be off but I don't really care about that what I care is just about repeatability I want all these numbers to be pretty close or almost the same. Most of them are 115 or 120. We do have two, there's a 110 and a 125 that are a little bit, this one's a little bit heavier, this one's a little bit lighter, but it's still not far off from my baseline of about 115 or 120, so I'm good here. And usually what you're looking at is you want to look in for no more than a 10% change between your middle value here. I've checked all these valves. They're all pretty close in pressure, so I know a valve hasn't given up on me. If you start checking this and one of these comes out to be, say, 80, you know a valve spring has started giving up on you. So in the last video, we set valve lash. In this video, we checked the valve springs. And let's be honest, usually when a motor blows up, it's because something failed in the valve train. Because we checked the valve lash and we know the lash is correct and nothing had changed, I know I haven't eaten a lobe off the cam or nothing's given up, the valve's not stretched on me. I've checked the valve spring pressures and they're all pretty much the same so I know I don't have a valve spring getting weak or giving up so I can be pretty confident that my valve springs and my uh, rocker arms and all my valve train is going to live. Knock on wood now that I said that but we should be pretty good. Alright, that concludes the video. We've got everything checked. I know my valve train should be in good shape. We're ready to go race another weekend.